Hey, before I start this video, I just want to give a big thanks to Red Bandit for dropping his news for Red Dead Redemption 2. Let's get straight into it, bro. You already know what it is. Let's go. YouTube, what's good, man? It's your boy Joseph Woody. We back with another banger. <laughs> so in this video, my boy Red Bandit is giving info about the game, such as a dead eye feature, mini games, gunfights, etc., etc. So let's go ahead and get into it, bro. You already know I'm excited for Red Dead. I'm excited for it so many games at this point bro it's getting crazy especially next year next year's gonna be crazy as well but let's get straight into it bro let's go welcome back bandits i'm red bandit and this is your ranch for the latest and greatest red dead redemption 2 Whoa. information speculation and gameplay today because rockstar games released the gameplay trailer for red dead redemption 2 so as I'm sure you've all looked at the Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay video by now, and from what we've gathered, this isn't the only gameplay video we're going to receive. That's right, guys, we are officially going to get another gameplay video oh, we're in the coming part weeks, two. all based on missions opposed to the general structure of the game. Now, the gameplay video revealed a ton of information to us on so many different levels. It introduced us to the new shooting mechanics, gave us a glimpse of the new Deadeye, confirmed different elements of the world previously thought to just be rumours, and much, much more, such as fishing, gambling, and so many more details, and the trailer was absolutely amazing. So in today's video, all based on the gameplay video for Red Dead Redemption 2, I'm going to be breaking down the key details for you guys that you may have missed, and some of the things that you guys may need a little refresh on in a nice this little layer. So first, the most key element I wanted to discuss personally is the HUD, or the Heads Up Display, and how the HUD has changed drastically from that of Red Dead Redemption 1, the predecessor. As you can see here from our very first glimpse of in-game footage taken directly from the PlayStation 4 system is Arthur Morgan on the back of his brand new trusty steed. And the main focus here isn't just how beautiful and stunning the world is surrounding him, which indeed it is, but instead more on the mini-map in the bottom left. As you can see, the mini-map has been changed a ton since the predecessor, and in Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay, this time the map is more similar to that of a treasure map. I'm very fond of this change because it seems very similar to that of the maps that were found back in the late 1800s and the early Thanks. 1900s and it gives the game a style of more immersion of course having a mini map that looks like a sat nav back in those days doesn't seem right it makes as sense. you can see from the mini map the roads are detailed with single lines very similar to that of the maps from that time and era we can also see how surrounding the mini-map we have the north, east, south and west, but they're much smaller this time round, leading me to believe that the navigation in this game is going to be a lot more player-focused and less help. This next scene right here that shortly follows this is the very same part, and it's a great yeah. example oh, of how Rockstar Games are fusing the gameplay with cinematics really, really well. We stated in our previous video they aim to make jumps to cutscenes almost seamless in effort and feel more real than ever. Bro, this is so crazy, this scene bro. here is Arthur being tossed through the window and it shows just how detailed the world is especially when the window smashes but as we can see here there are no loading screens no lag and no effort almost from the system about. itself to make the game seamlessly flow back into the gameplay so how do we know this because we can see that the mini map isn't available when arthur morgan is being thrown through the window and just as he stands up and it seamlessly flows back into gameplay we can see that mini map coming back into action Fast. and we can get back into the fight which is awesome and i love how they've done that as well you'll also notice how the hud is very minimalistic in this particular scene here there's no time money reticle or anything of the sort to indicate the player what is going on what and I again like. this is very important and a very important feature in the game that rockstar are going to implement to make the world feel a ton more alive more in depth and give out a more of a realistic approach and they stated that the less is better in this world and i believe that is true this yeah. scene right afterwards shows us the most essential aspects of dead eye we've ever seen before not only do we see some of the death animations in the game and how the guns will look and sound when firing them but we also notice something very very important about the dead eye itself not only does Deadeye allow you to once again slow down time, mark enemies and shoot, but it also allows us to shoot those targets without quitting Deadeye itself. In Bro, Red Dead Redemption, Dead marking an enemy and hitting fire would instantly cancel the Deadeye and immediately kill all the targets that we had our markers placed on. This time, however, as you can clearly see, Arthur has no trouble in marking enemies individually and shooting them while still remaining within Deadeye. And that's how Rockstar Games were improving the Deadeye and making it more fluid. Of course, we didn't know that just a few days ago or even hours ago, but now we get some clarification on that as well. 
In regards to shooting, near the end of the gameplay reveal around the 4 minute mark we see and hear how different weapons have different characteristics. We can clearly see how the shotguns have realistic recoil, penetration and the style of weapons uh. varies. We saw a bow and arrow gameplay which we'll talk a bit about later on. Sniper rifles were shown and we also saw just how detailed the weapons are even in simple elements what such as reloading weapons? the revolver. Like the gameplay then does take a short break and we're left with some absolutely stunning views of the open world. And Rockstar Games have now confirmed there will be indeed deserts, swamps, mountains and many more areas to explore. So if you want to see more about the world, stay tuned and if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed so you can see that later on in the week when I make a video on that as well. The next key element we need to discuss is the confirmation of how us playing as Arthur Morgan will build a bond with the camp and how the camp itself moves in quote from the gameplay itself, it stated that the camp often is forced to flee across one of the large three main states in the game. The camp members right. will eat, sleep and even play games at the camp. Now, oh, mini-games in Red Dead Redemption 2 is Dylan something that's been speculated for a while here on the channel. And of course, we now have huge confirmation there showing us that some of the key activities that we can participate in with <gasps> the camp. Some of these include gambling, like poker and liar's dice, all the way down to fishing that has now indeed been confirmed oh, to yeah. be in the game from this bit right here at the that. end of the trailer. Playing these games with our camp members will build bonds, friendships and overall strengthen the gang as it gets tougher and tougher as they continuously run from the law. So of course Bro. the tempers are going to be high but playing these games and building bonds is going to be the best way to go. Something very important here is when Arthur is talking to this lady at the camp however. In her own words she says how Arthur saved a man's life and now he's off robbing sheep with him instead. So this is something that will certainly be overlooked in the game but it's a key element once again. Several times throughout the trailer and gameplay you'll see this right here. This is the NPC interaction menu. As you can see we can be polite, be rude, antagonize and among various other choices okay. choose the path that we form with different NPCs. These decisions are up to the player but as we've just heard if we do want to help people the benefits can be a lot better than killing people and not helping them Facts. overall. Okay. And in this instance Arthur Morgan found someone to help him rustle sheep and do illegal activities. Not only this, but in the scene with the map on the table of Saint Denis, I believe, which is the giant city, we also were told that we can reveal different secrets from building bonds with players and characters that we found in the world. For instance, if we're nice to someone, we build a great friendship, they might go, hey, by the way, I know where some money's stored. Right. So there'll be a lot more benefits for us for being friendly than being negative and hostile. Another awesome way the NPC interactions have changed, we see it right here. Arthur discovers someone slipping off of a cliff and we can let them die or let them live. We're gonna save but we also see another element of this at the end of the trailer where we see a lady shouting, you killed my cousin. <coughs> If we do choose to be horrible to people and kill people, sometimes their family members may even remember our face That's and come crazy. after us later on in the game, which I personally think is awesome, an awesome feature there from Rockstar Games. I think the best part about this is how the storytelling and the NPC interactions actually have consequences that we need to take into consideration. Another incredible feature is how the world surrounding Arthur is indeed alive. This scene with Arthur at around the three minutes in mark, we see Arthur heading his way through with his horse in a gloomy forest like area. Bruh, the birds in the surrounding trees and on the floor all quickly fly away. This is of course something that we've heard many times but we actually get to see it in greater detail right here and this is all of course based on the immersion of the player something that Rockstar Games has been trying to implement for a very long nice. time. We also see a great example of this at the end of the game where Rockstar Games tell us that the animals and predators have their own personalities. Right. We see a bear being attacked by wolves and the bear is physically trying to find an escape route. We see an alligator being hostile to Arthur Morgan and plenty more things like that to come in Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay come October the 26th. Horse was also a feature Rockstar definitely didn't want to leave out and we saw so much detail in the horse bonding that it's impossible to cover all of this in one video and it's also plain wrong to just ignore it in this video. We'll have plenty of videos explaining this in further detail but as you can clearly see we can brush our horse Horses, feed them and over time the behavior of the horse can improve or worsen depending on how we've treated them 
and use them. This scene right here is crucial and important and amazing at the same time. We can clearly see how sometimes the player even needs to fight the horse to stay balanced, just Lit. as they are taking off ready to ride. We can buy horses as well as seen in this scene in the barn. Arthur is heard saying that he's been looking for a decent workhorse for a friend for a long time and he believes this specific horse he's found right here is the right fit. Another key subtle hint that horses all have their own characteristics and benefits of use throughout the world. Yeah. The best part about the horse gameplay for me comes from when Arthur Morgan is having this epic gunfight with the lawman just over the hill. As you can clearly see, the horse is getting stressed out from all of the gunfire and fighting that's going on. The horse decides to spin around in a circle, and the game clearly tells us that if we build our bond with our horses, this will become a lot easier to control. Ah, However, okay. you may want to okay, actually yeah. do some of these moves yourself, because as you can clearly see, Arthur Morgan manages to dodge a fair few amount of bullets and dodge a lot of the gunfight that is taken place. So that just about wraps up the key elements that the gameplay has given us order. today. I'm going to be going over tons more details and of course anticipating the release of the second gameplay video that has been unconfirmed so far but it shouldn't be too far away. Gotcha. So guys I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did and you think someone should and you think someone should know some of these details, give it a share, a like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay video very very soon oh yeah adios listen yo shout out to red bandit again for dropping this video bro everybody go subscribe to him right now please man say your boy joseph woody say joseph woody reacted to your video under his comments bro definitely do that for your boy you know what i'm saying all of these details that we're getting about spider-man ps4 red dead redemption etc etc it's it's crazy bro like this is it's good for the communities. It's good for gaming community in general. It's good for all of the gamers in the world, you know what I'm saying? Because, and that's the reason why I'm reacting to this stuff because I'm reacting to it because I'm watching, I'm basically just watching the video live with y'all, you know what I'm saying? With my subs. That's why I'm reacting to this because I want y'all to know the news as well, you know what I'm saying? And I want y'all to buy Red Dead Redemption too so we could be online together, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be lit. But hey man, if you enjoyed this video and definitely want more content, please like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you new and hit that notification button after you subscribe to the channel, you know what I'm saying, man. Get notified when I upload and stream, you know. It's your boy Joseph Woody. I'm out of here. Each weapon has unique characteristics with realistic reload and recoil that always keeps the player grounded and connected to the action in a gunfight. Oh God. In a similar way, the bond with your horse is crucial and changes based on your treatment of the animal. Oh my fucking god.